Ever since the Black Sun was destroyed, my memory has been disintegrating. I spent too much time on the other side. Now it's eating away at my mind, erasing what's left of it. My memories are all confused, slowly self-destructing, fading like a dream when you wake up. I'm losing my sense of time. I no longer know what happened before or after. Everything's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. A chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks. Trying to put my life down on paper. If I forget everything, these pages will be my memory. Three months after the fact, the investigation continues in an effort to determine the cause of the accident that cost 283 lives on a Pentagon military base. Government representatives confirm that the authorities are working hand in hand with the investigators to shed light on this appalling tragedy. The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. I know they'll never abandon their experiments, now that they know what's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. Now I need to reconstruct my life. My life without Iden. <laughs> For as long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. I got what I wanted. Never been so unhappy in my life. I feel like part of me has been amputated. Crying all day. I know it's stupid. Shit. I miss him so much. It took months, months of nothing passing by. Then I woke up. I knew it was time, time to start again, to build a new life. It was so obvious. Deep inside, I, I always knew. needed the silence around me to hear what I was feeling. It took me a while to realize how much I loved him. I'd been alone and sad for so long. I'd forgotten what it was like to love someone.
We traveled as far away as we could. I had to learn to love again. To put my trust in someone to stop fighting and running away. In short, I had to learn to live. Ryan and I never talked about it again. As if it all never happened. As if the other side didn't exist. As if it could never come back into our lives. I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. 